All right, we're going to move on here. Now we're into the combustion chambers. And uh, this is kind of a unique situation. And as you can see, what I've done, let's move in a little. I've laid the blue stripe Felpro gasket because I'm, I'm a little weary to go too far because as you can see, this cylinder head for a blower has a receiver groove in it up here. I don't want to go digging away too much meat up in this area. I want to make sure he's got plenty of meat for the receiver groove. Now the standard big block uh, gasket has a bore diameter, I believe, of uh, 4,350. So the line scribed inside the area there is my line. Of course, it don't give me much to chop out. But uh, having a receiver groove on it and everything, I just think I'm better off to do it this way because it is a 454 block. So even at 60 over, there's still some room in there and that's, that's okay. So basically, uh, I'm, uh, the chamber's in pretty good shape, but there's real bad machinist ridges in it. Uh, I'm gonna clear all them out. Um, as you can see, let me go ahead and remove the gasket on this one. Okay. I've already got my dummy valves inside this one here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go in here and I'm going to unshroud the combustion chamber some but mainly get the machinist ridges out. All right. I'm going to pull it over. Here's where it gets a little tricky. Now, up here in the eyebrow area, if you'll notice uh, that shape for the exhaust, that gets it a little bit close for me, so I'm going to kind of stop right here halfway up, leave that area up to about right here alone, and just touch off on it. The chambers are actually in, in pretty good shape other than damn big-ass machinist ridges. Now we're going to get into valve diameter here in just a minute. I got something to show you It's pretty interesting where we had debated on either a 2300 or 2350 valve. So uh, anyway, on with that in a minute, I'm going to go ahead now and continue on blending the chambers and removing the machinist ridge. Let me see if I can get you a good shot here. Look here at this one. Golly, that is absolutely awful right there. You can see that big, golly, it's like a giant eyebrow. So, of course, all that's chopped and chopped out there. I'll level it, then I go back in there and polish it, and that'll take care of it. But we're going to go back over the valve diameter here in just a little bit. Okay. A little bit bold here because this just, I know I got room to do it. I just don't have a template off, so this is going to be a, a freehand attempt here. In doing a freehand attempt, you got to be real precise. We see the scribe line right here for the stock gasket. Look at where my ridge is out. Man, that's going to give me a good dive if I play it right. So let's go ahead here real quick. And I'm going to start here. I'm going to dig inward and I'm going to pull on up. Pull it on up because we're going to either a 2300 or 2350 valve and we need room to let that shit out of there. So. Let's see what we got and see if I can't help that big monster out a little bit. All right, I'm going to see I'm drawing my little marker line first. 
Then I'm gonna dig in the middle. Wait, let me go ahead and move this over to the side. That was a hell of a lot of pressure. We're going to come on down and bring it as close to the fire ring as we possibly get. All right, now we're getting close. I'm gonna roll on over the spark plug and try to pull that in. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the exhaust side a little bit. I'm just gonna follow it to the line right here. But remember what I told you, it gets a little thin over there toward that range. touch it up a little bit but now let's do a side by side comparison to it after the compressor picks off. Now let's look at the difference. Now I'm pretty sure I got that pretty even right there. I got pretty close now that was free handed. Remember how I had to come draw me a line there and then dig in there and then pull out so it's unshrouded. Now let's get a little closer. A little closer. I'll try to get to the rings. All right, you can see the major difference right there. I mean, wow, that's really keeping it blocked up. Hold on a minute. All right, now, right here, from the edge of the fire ring to the edge of that, I got 110 thousandths, okay? That's more than enough shelf for him to lay that O-ring on. If I come over here... It's right over three hundred thousandths, okay? So I unshrouded it damn near a quarter of an inch all the way from about right here all the way here. 
And if I come down there, hell, it even goes more about 330. Wow. That kind of puts it right into perspective. So I was able to do a pretty serious chamber mod. Of course, that right there, layering that back where the machinist ridge was and touching it right here but it really needed some room to exit the big two three hundred or two three fifty valve diameter and and what I'm going to do on that you know I've already I'm going to show you in a minute I'm going to put a two three fifty valve in and a two three hundred and see how much seat that I've got here on the edge that's how you judge or one of the things you use to judge whether or not you can put a larger diameter valve is how much seat you got and how much seat you have to thin out doing the valve job because you can't lose your crush that keeps the seat inside the head. If it was a cast iron head, I wouldn't sweat it one bit. It automatically get a 2350, but on the aluminum heads with a hardened seat, it's got its limiting factors. All right, I thought that was a pretty good swoop. Let's get a little more straight in just on that chamber itself. And let's go to the part that matters. You see now, there's a uh, hundred thousandths or a hundred and ten thousandths of ridge which is more than enough support to hold the ring. This is the area that makes all the difference. This swoop right here. This exit. Because there's nothing in the way over here of keeping it shrouded. But right here there is. So anyway, that's the major chamber mod done to it. That ought to help quite a bit. Alright, that's all on the chamber. I'm going to go ahead and, and do what i got to do on them. And then polish them. And then we're going to roll over to exhaust. You're not going to believe what i got to do there. And this is an optional thing here on, for my customer in one area.